Okay, this is what I struggled with the most. Was lighting a smoker and keeping it lit. There's a vent hole right here, so that's where you keep pumping air. Take some cedar shavings, work really, really good. Kind of sticks them in there, and you want them to kind of lay on the bottom side. So if they get in the bottom again, just do like that and shake them on that side. Then if you can get you a piece of paper, um, the wax frames that you buy when they have that paper, that works the best. But a napkin will do. It's a little windy today, so having a hard time getting the paper lit, but that's all right. Got the blaze. All right, see how it's blazing like that? Now you got your cedar kind of laid up on that side. Stick it down in there and start puffing, and hopefully your paper will stay lit. You can see in there, you can see there's a flame going now. So now, you got that lit, you kind of shake the cedar on top a little bit. You don't want to put it back out again. You want to keep it lit, so you want to keep pumping it and pumping it. Keep it hot in there. See how it's flaming in there? Shake the cedar around. Wait till that catches on fire. The smokers that are a little bit taller like this, this is not the short ones, will keep you from burning your hands when the flame's coming out. But you want to get it on fire. See how it just caught back on fire like that? Now you're ready to put some more in there. So drop a handful, smoke it up that fire burning. Don't smolder it. See how that white smoke is means there's no flame in there right now, but I want one more flame in there. This is how you keep your smoker lit all day long. Let it flame up one more time. See how it just flamed back up again? Now we're ready to rock and roll. It's good and hot. You can stand your smoker up right now. It's good and hot. Just keep packing it in there. Put a handful, then pump it some. Keep it lit. Keep pumping it. We want to pack it as full as we can get it, but we want it to be for sure all burning before we close the hatch on it. I know you would think that's good by now, but it's better if it gets a little bit hotter. The hotter you can make that thing, bad when it's windy though. <coughs> okay. That's what I was going for. One more good flame like that. Now we're going to push it in there nice and tight. Puff it a couple good times. And that smoke is ready to go for the rest of the day. You don't want it where it's blowing out hot, hot smoke on your bees. So the more smoke you have, the better it is. If your smoker's not smoking good and you got it real hot, and it's just blowing out hot air on them, that, they don't want that, so the smoke is what you want. Hope that was helpful to you. It was very helpful to me when I learned it, for sure.